Chicago Public Schools and IHSA are dealing with a brawl between two of the city's top football programs over the weekend. Several players and possibly coaches were ejected from that game that was out of control from the start. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live at Kenwood Academy with the fallout from that fight. Charlie. And Erica, good evening. It is important to note that both coaches came out quickly taking responsibility for what happened over the weekend. This was a highly anticipated game, billed as one of possibly the best in the city all season. But today it is being talked about and remembered for all the wrong reasons. Punches flew as tempers flared after the final whistle between Morgan Park High School and Kenwood Academy Saturday. Several fights sparked across the field. They're trying to build a brand new brand uh, for the Chicago publicly. And unfortunately, it's, you know, some things got out of hand and that's not what you want with a new brand. Joe Trost is an advocate for student athletes. He says what happened Saturday is not isolated to Chicago public schools. So people will point to the standpoint of things happening in the community that were brought to the field. But this has been happening in the pros. It's been happening in the NCAA. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it's been happening throughout the country. Morgan Parks coach tweeted in part, we'll be better because we're family and we all want to make a difference. The head coach for Kenwood apologizing for his team, calling their actions uncharacteristic. From the coaching standpoint, you, you've got to praise them, you know, for, for coming out, you know, from an adult standpoint, leadership standpoint, you know, they know that this wasn't right and this can't happen and this isn't what they want their programs to, to represent. In a game that was billed as two of the best city teams going head to head, now stained by what happened outside the hash marks. This is a massive teachable moment. Here's their primo football game of the year. And unfortunately, instead of talking about the great athletes, um, you know, we're, we're talking about this moment. And that's, that's an unfortunate thing for all of CPS. The IHSA says it is working with both schools along with CPS. The ejected players will be suspended for at least one game, but more games could be tacked on. Reporting live from Kenwood Academy High School, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Charlie, thank you.